In a forest in North Carolina, Dr. Roger Powell nails a can of sardines to a tree. Why? Well, bears can smell the sardines a long way off. Since they're the only animals strong enough to pull the can off the tree, when Dr. Powell spots an empty sardine can, he knows a bear has been in the area. Students and other volunteers at North Carolina State University help Dr. Powell study the social behavior of the black bears. He demonstrates how to use the long pole, on the end of which is a syringe containing a tranquilizer that will immobilize a bear. First, however, they have to capture one. A special trap that won't injure the bear is hidden in the logs. The bait is more sardines. The bear in the trap is one they'd captured last season. It's tricky to jab the needle at the end of the pole into the bear's muscle. Soon after they administer the drug, the bear reacts to the tranquilizer. Dr. Powell makes sure the bear is unconscious and the team moves in quickly. A bandana is tied over the bear's eyes to keep out dirt and to prevent accidentally injuring its eyes. They shave a patch of fur so they can tattoo a number that will further identify the individual. Another team member extracts a small tooth. After analyzing it in a lab, they can estimate the bear's age. They even draw blood samples. Dr. Powell inspects the radio transmitter built into the collar. After checking this female's health, team members weigh her. She's just over 100 pounds. Later, by tracking her with radio, the researchers will be able to follow her movements and map out her range. Combining data on her with information from other radio-collared bears, they can determine whether she shares her territory with other bears. Wildlife officials can manage the bear population more effectively by using the latest scientific equipment and a sardine can nailed to a tree.